Hey everybody, welcome back to part 2 of Mission 2. Continuing our trek through the mansion and remembering things that Dante has long forgotten. Okay, so we just finished up the memory thing. We got the demon pole. This is the very next uh, room we drop in. It's got another one of those crystal floors that we can't uh, can't get past. But we can grab those red orb containers. And we can use our copper key we got earlier on this door here. Ah, uh, it's been so long since I played this, or recorded this. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Just kill all the enemies. One minute. That should be easy. Six cannon fodder enemies, one minute. Oh, he hit me. Good for him. <laughs> so it took about 30 seconds and we got a uh, health cross fragment. That was easy. All the copper doors are easy. Fun fact, they won't show you a combo you cannot do on the loading screen. They won't show you a weapon you can't use. Everything they show you is something you can physically do after seeing it. So as you play through the game, they'll add more weapons into those combo screen uh, combos. Uh, once you go through the doorway, turn around. There's another lost soul. Another easy one to miss if you just rush through the area and you can't hear their wheezing. And we get to put our uh, demon pole to good use. Like any good video game, they make us use uh, they make us use the ability right after getting it. It's like every video game. Another door we can break. Sparta, they're here. They're here. They found us. What the hell happened here? We've got to get out. Okay, no. instead of following her, uh, go Come left. On. There's some uh, spiders you can kill. And then let's follow her. We're back in the beginning area, by the way, if you didn't notice. Back in the main foyer. Except this time, it gets changed around significantly. Oh, shielded bathos. Uh, just like the regular bathos, except for they're shielded. You can use a, uh, oh, well timed, Brad. Good job. You can use a uh, demon pole to get rid of the shield. And then they're so weak, you can use the demon pole just to, uh, very nice, to kill them afterwards. Oh, no, no. Come on. How did they find us? Okay, I have to follow Mom. I know that voice. Which probably isn't a surprise to anybody. You now the path we went down before is blocked off to us. But here's another divinity statue if we need it. I will point out the Arbiter upgrades. So they make the uh, pause combo something you have to purchase there. Then they got an upgrade for uh, flush on the ground, which is uh, similar to aerial flush, that we can actually use coming up, so it's not a bad purchase. It's uh, definitely not required, but I'm going to buy it and use it just to show you guys. It's another blue door we can't get through forced to go this way and another portrait is that mom I love you Dante Demon. 
things. <laughs> Ooh, the game does give you tips from time to time. It's just telling you about uh, how to break their block. See, we pretty much stunned them with enough demon poles. So another portrait and another weapon for us. This one is blue, so it's an angel weapon. And we got ourselves a kick-ass scythe. Haha. <laughs> Osiris. Very good for dealing with uh, crowd control. Check it out. Just like the Arbiter, you hold L2. So you hold the opposite button to use it, so it's extremely easy to use. It charges up as you use it to do more damage. Uh, it's got some cool combos, and look at the wide arcs it has. <laughs> that prop shredder is freaking awesome. You can actually upgrade it to last longer too. There's the special in the air, it's uh, called Rake. It brings enemies up. Pretty handy for extending uh, aerial combos. For adding more enemies into your aerial combos. There are a lot of options you can do with Osiris, I like it a lot. I think it's my favorite angel weapon. The switching, switching weapons is so easy. And, now that we have Osiris, we can open these blue doors. You see the icon appears. So in this room we got some demon spiders, red orb containers, and a lost soul above the doorway. We sure are finding a lot of those lost souls, but uh, we're not going to get them all. We got a good chunk of them. We're going to have to come back to get them all. Then you can check out the upgrades you can get for Osiris here. I like that cleaver a lot. I use it a lot throughout the game. I'm definitely buying that. That raise is really cool too, especially with lots of enemies around you. And I'm out of upgrade points, but it was totally worth it. We should buy a cross when you can too. Also totally worth it, especially if uh, you know you're on normal, enemies aren't kicking your ass consistently. Definitely spend your money on health upgrades. Especially if you're having a somewhat easy time of it. See, they're going to make sure we know how to get through the blue doors here. And to the right here is a gap that we just can't cross right now. But we can use that uh, flush ability that I bought to uh, send axe heads over there and kill that lost soul. That first time I had it spot on, 
but there's some spiders in that room too that I ended up uh, killing instead of the lost soul. So now I gotta try to line myself up here again. And I suck at it, so it's gonna take forever. But uh, you can definitely kill it early if you have the flush ability. There we go, that's it. Got it. That room over there also has a door that we'll need to come back for. As you can see, that we're missing a door and a key. We're gonna need to come back here anyways, so getting that lost soul. Definitely not a necessity. We can come back. That's a nice room. I like how they place that rose right in the uh, path of your the path you need to go through. How much of your childhood do you Uh, back in our memory. And another new uh, mobility option, Ophion Angel Lift. Instead of pulling things to us, we will lift up towards them. Extremely handy, as you can tell. If the lift is on a ledge like that, you'll automatically uh, go up to the next area. That's what they're showing you there. And here, they're showing you you can use it one after another. Nice. Very nice. We just crossed a large gap. So the game is definitely going to start adding more gaps. And check this out. No lift point? No problem. We got an enemy. Use the lift to pull yourself up towards any enemy. <laughs> I'm just being silly there. So yeah, the uh, lift and pull, great combat options. And here it's telling you you can combine lift with pull. See we got two lifts and then a demon pull. There's going to be a lot of platforming segments left in the game that we're going to have to combine the two. But they're pretty few and far between. And just like last time, break the rock here with Arbiter. We'll let loose another chain. What am I unleashing? It's a good question. <laughs> what are you unleashing, Dante? I didn't ask for your help.
That's a good tip. You can, uh, just like that, you can, uh, send projectiles flying back to enemies with prop. Man, that overdrive just racks up the style. It's crazy. Yeah, shooting at shields, not a smart idea, for the record. So we can continue on now, after this little scene. the danger we were in. The demons found us. When they broke in, I saw him. her life so that we could escape. I will never forget what he did to her. Our father, Sparta, took my brother and I away. He separated us, hid us safely amongst the humans, wiped our memories to protect us. That's why it all went black. Until now. Very interesting. So here's a bit of platforming for you. Very easy. Just follow the colors. I'm getting out of here. Looks like there's something to do out here, but there isn't. Just keep going. The uh, house is going to tilt a bit, so be careful your jumps here. But just get to the uh, circle, and that's basically the end of the chapter. Some more video, of course. You're my brother. Your twin brother. I've been looking for you for a long time now. Our mother gave these to us. I think she knew that this moment would come, that we would find each other. And our father, Sparta, vanished forever. A fate worse than death, they say. He's never coming back. I want to know more, where we come from, what happened to us, and above all, I want to know who's responsible for all this.
Ha. And just like that, they got Dante on their side. Of course, Virgil knew that would happen. Anyway. Ooh, triple S. Don't have the item completion to back that up, though. We'll have to come back to this. Uh, no big deal. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, join me for uh, Chapter 3, or Mission 3. We'll uh, keep on going. Okay, everybody. Take care.